Hi there, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading Rapunzel Battles the Evil Witch. Oh gosh, I hope it's not too scary. All right, once upon a time, there was a girl named Rapunzel who was in love with a prince named Edward. But she lived on top of a tower, so they couldn't be together. But what happened next? Let's go. Wiggle, snap, story time. I'm not even allowed to talk to you, much less marry you. Surely your mom wants you to be happy. I don't think she's my real mom. I think she took me from my real parents. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes I think I can remember my real mom. We'll find your real parents and then we'll be married. Okay, but not now. Dame Gothel will be here any minute. I'll come back for you tomorrow. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair and hurry, my feet hurt. Back at the palace, Prince Edward couldn't contain his excitement. I'm getting married, I'm getting married. But I'm Prince Brad heard married, Edward's song, I'm and that's not good, kids. Married, Remember, I'm Brad wanted to be king, and their dad was retiring his crown in just one month. If Edward marries that girl, then he gets to be king. I have to stop this. Prince Brad jumped on his horse and rushed to the tower. He arrived just in time to see Dame Gothel climbing down Rapunzel's hair. Pardon me, but I thought you might like to know that a rapscallion of the lowliest order is plotting to abscond with your fair daughter. A what is doing what now? The bad guy is going to take your daughter. What? Never! Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! What's wrong? You know what's wrong. You were planning to leave me! If you want to go, then go. But first, I'm cutting your hair. What? No! Why? I love my hair! <laughs> but there was no arguing with Dame Gothel. She cut off Rapunzel's long locks and kicked her out into the cold, dark night. Rapunzel wandered the forest, hoping that somehow she would find Prince Edward. But she had never left the tower in her life. The next day, Prince Edward awoke, eager to see Rapunzel. He sang and whistled all the way to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let that hair down. I'm coming up. The braid dropped and he climbed up. We're getting married, we're getting married. Ah! You were coming to take my Rapunzel, weren't you? Where is she? She's gone. You're my prisoner now. Dame Gothel left the prince tied and locked up in the tower. Earlier it had been the happiest day of his life. Now it was the saddest. Back in the forest, Rapunzel was desperately trying to find Prince Edward. She walked and walked and walked and walked. And then, rather suddenly, she found herself in a whole new world. People! Betty Baldy's beauty parlor. Oh, hey, maybe she can fix my hair. Hi, are you Betty Baldy? Sure am. Sit down, let me fix you up. How's that? Love it! When she saw a familiar face coming in the door. Dame Gothel. And she's wearing my hair! Dame Gothel seemed to have taken Rapunzel's blonde braid and fashioned it to a wig of her own. You got some hair. It's all natural, too. Yeah, right. I need a very special hairdo. I'm going to a ball at the palace tonight. A ball at the palace? How fancy! Rapunzel decided that she had better follow Dame Gothel to the party. Uh, hey, I'm, um, I'm on the list. Yeah, okay, see ya. Now where's Edward? I have to find him. I'm Prince Brad, but when I get married tomorrow, I'm gonna be King Brad. I'm, um, uh, what's that? Oh, okay, coming. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? I recognize you. You're that girl from the tower. Rapunzel tried to rush out of the palace, but she somehow got caught in a conga line. Edward is supposed to be king, not Brad. Something is seriously wrong here. I bet that old stinker Dame Gothel has something to do with this. Don't worry. Edward's locked away. He'll never get out. <laughs> Rapunzel finally found the door and ran away from the ball. Rapunzel didn't know what to do. She was just about to break down in tears when another familiar face appeared. Well, you look like someone who could use some cheering up. Crafting Carolina, hi! Wait a second, I thought you never left your tower. She kicked me out just because I fell in love. And now she's got my prince locked in a tower. Well, wait a second. I know how to get to the tower. It's on my sales route, remember? Let's go save that prince! Yay! After Crafty and Rapunzel stocked up on all the important stuff, crafting supplies and snacks, the two set off into the woods to find the tower. I definitely hear something. Hi! Huh. 
Rapunzel and Carolina stepped forward following Dame Gothel, and then they realized they were already at the tower. Rapunzel, what are you doing here? I'm here to save Edward. Crafting Carolina tossed a giant net over Dame Gothel, trapping her. Awesome! Where'd you get that? I made it. Crafty. We took care of Dame Gothel, now we gotta save Edward. What's that? <laughs> Grappling hook. Oh. Never know when you're gonna have to scale a wall. <laughs> Edward! Rapunzel? Edward! You changed your hair! Do you like it? <laughs> I love it! Guys! Super sweet reunion and all, but it's almost morning! We gotta go stop a wedding! <laughs> Rapunzel, Prince Edward, and Carolina rush to the palace! <gasps> stop! Stop the wedding! Stop the wedding! Edward? My son! Dad! Edward's own brother plotted with evil Dame Gothel to lock him up in a tower so that he couldn't marry me! Well, I've heard enough! Guards! No, I'm the king! I'm the king! Thank you for rescuing my son. <laughs> You're very welcome. Do we get to be married now? <laughs> we were all set up for a party. What do you say, everyone? Yay! Excuse me. So sorry to interrupt. Rapunzel? Rapunzel? Huh? Dad? Rapunzel. Rapunzel! Now let's have a wedding. Yay! <laughs> and so the two lovebirds were finally married, and Rapunzel's long lost parents were there to celebrate with them. It was the happiest of days, just like a fairy tale, don't you think? So Rapunzel and the prince lived happily ever after. Aw, I love it. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Are you ready for more fun? Time for games. Let's play Count It. We'll re-watch a scene from the story and see how many times you can count Raina's umbrella. Are you ready to count it? Here we Go! Rather suddenly, she found herself in a whole new world. People! Betty Baldy's beauty parlor. Oh, hey, maybe she can fix my hair. Hi, are you Betty Baldy? Sure am. Sit down, let me fix you up. How's that? Love it! When she saw a familiar face coming in the door. Dame Gothel. Okay, how many did you count? Let's see the answers. There's one, there's two, and finally, there's three. That was so fun. Did you find them all? Okay, are you ready to play Find It? Here's what you need to look for. Drew, Simon, Dean Mean, and how about Grace Kale's vacuum? Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Now where could they be? Keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, maybe over there. Or maybe over here. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Where are you hiding? Time is almost up. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So how did you do? Did you find everything? Here are the answers. Drew, ooh, good hiding spot. Simon, right over there. Dean Mean, found him. And finally, Grace Kale's vacuum, found it. That's the last one, we did it. Now it's time for Spot the Difference, Ray Blank, Grace Kale and the gang from Cruel School have totally messed up this scene from the story. Can you spot all the differences in these two pictures? Keep looking. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Does that look right to you? Keep searching. See how many differences you can find. Five, four, three, two, one. So how many differences did you find? Let's see the answers. Here's a difference. This color is different. Here's one. 
This disappeared! Over here! Did you find all of them? Wow! Good job! Come back to Cool School for more stories and games with me, Miss Booksy. Bye!